Father in heaven, we thank you for another time in your presence. Bless your word in our hearts today. In Jesus' name, amen. Beloved, today we are talking about trouble on every side. And that Bible text is taken from 2 Corinthians chapter 4, from verse 8 to 11. And the scripture reads that we are troubled on every side, yet not distressed. We are perplexed, but not in despair. Persecuted, but not forsaken. Cast down, but not destroyed. Always bearing about in the body the dying of the Lord Jesus, that the life also of Jesus might be made manifest in our body. Beloved, every day and most times in our life, we we'll go through those troubling times that question everything we believe in. Praise God. Those heavy mist of adversity throughout our life question the essence of our being and even the things that we have come to believe and trust. No wonder St. Paul in our scripture today assures us that even though we may be troubled in times of adversity, we will not be alone because as verse 10 of that scripture says, the Lord himself will be with us. He will take us by his signs. He will be at our side. He will remain faithful as long as we acknowledge him in all our ways. Little wonder he told us that he will send us the spirit that will teach us all things, that will be with us even through trials and tribulation and by stripes we are healed. Now, you know, when going through so many of the things that we go through in life, we often will hear people come to us with those words of comfort that says, Hey, listen, beloved, everything will be fine. It will be all right. At times, we ourselves tell others, See, it is well. Hold on to your faith. Now, you see, every time this kind of words of comfort come to us, immediately we actually face the trial and the test of. Is it really okay? Is it really well? But Jesus promises us. That's it. Listen, overcoming challenges in this life is part of our plan, God's plan for us. You see, because he has not left us alone. He has given us his word. He has shown continuously revelations over time through his prophets, through through, through, through scriptures. He has shown us that this is the right path we can follow so that we do not lose our way, so that facing adversity is no longer a problem. Yes, it is not easy, but the knowledge we have of Christ, the knowledge we have of the blessings that awaits us, he said, to him that believeth, to him that holds on, that hangs on to the end, he said, will a crown of victory be given unto, which is our crown that awaits us in heaven. Heaven. But beyond everything, as we walk with Jesus, who has set an example for us, that no matter, regardless of the suffering that he had, even dying on, dying on the cross, he did not turn aside from his divine mission. He fulfilled his responsibilities and missed his trials. He sacrificed his life because of his love for each one of us, giving us a wondrous opportunity to repent and change our ways. Now, this is the greatest comfort we have, that there is a destination awaiting us. Because if we stay faithful to Christ, if we hold on to Christ, we will eventually reach this final destination and live with Jesus and our Heavenly Father forever and ever. Beloved, you see, this promise that our troubles will be calm, that our tribulations will have an expiry date and for those that have a relationship with Jesus. So whether your relationship with him was there before but it's, it's faulty now or it has never been there, call the numbers on the screen so we can pray for you. We can walk with you and lead you to Christ and walk with you. Even if there are troubling times, we can walk with you, cancel you, pray with you so that together we will share in the testimony money that awaits you. Do not waste time. Just come back to Jesus. He's the altar and finisher of our faith. And let's walk together on those things that trouble your heart, of those things that are taking your peace. Because see, you know what? He said, I wish above all things that you may yet prosper and being good at even as your soul prospered. Ah, Jesus wants to walk with you. Allow him come in and sup with you. Even as you go through your day today, God richly bless you in Jesus' name. Amen.